Hello, it's Roy again. Influential roles. I came up with this verbiage because it really relates to your purpose. It relates to what you feel you're here to do, what you feel you are here to contribute to the planet. What do you want it with your life? What makes your life meaningful? What makes you feel successful? What makes you feel empowered? okay with what you are currently having, what your current circumstances are in those, in that terminology. When you have a child, you become a mother, you become a parent. That's an influential role. Well, most people, since that experience is something that is tangible, it's something that you see the reward from, your efforts, the lack of sleep, them pestering you, you getting on their nerves, they're getting on yours, all the emotional investment in that final product. I'm an example of an influential role of my parents. Well, we're taught that when you become a parent, then everything else is not important or you need to become a doctor and that's more important. And what gets left out is your emotional fulfillment your emotional need. Well, that emotional fulfillment is tied to purpose. It's tied to what you're here to experience in life. And most of the time, we allow our responsibilities or others, we put them at a higher level than us. Primarily because that's what everyone has told us that that's what you're supposed to do. That's the right thing to do. That's the ethical option. And you're the one that's left sad, depressed, angry, jealous, envious, poor. <laughs> and that is expansive of everything, not just finances. You're no longer attractive to yourself. No, your lover probably doesn't find you attractive. It just breeds all of this underlying day-to-day -day issue that many people struggle with. And you won't tell anyone because you can't. You have to have the picture-perfect family. And that's another influential role as well when you start to layer the cake. That's the icing. And then the candle is when you lie to yourself and say that everything is fine because we've lasted this long. Or I should be grateful for everything that I have in my life. So do you see how you have all this mix and of mess and we try to jumble it together and we try to give it meaning because it's all that you have. Well, when you tie yourself down to an influential role, when you make all of this mess your purpose, you cannot be greater than that. There's nothing coming to you because it's closed. If you only believe that you're a mother, any other option in your life, you won't see it. You will think it's a dream. You will think that it's something that you can't have because you have this belief that you're just a mother. Think of the last uh, experience or conference you went to. What were the primary number, you know, topic of someone says, who are you? Most people will say they are a parent. They are something that has given them meaning. But we forget that we have meaning as well. Not only are you a parent, but you're also other things. You're also other expressions of yourself. But when you get bogged down into how things are supposed to be and what you are, then you never outgrow it. And so I created this meditation that I did. It's a verbal instruction. And I have some clearings in there. And for those of you who've never done something like that, what's happening is that you're asking a question to acknowledge an awareness of an emotion that you've forgotten. This is not anything that's going to do with this, okay? Even when I'm talking to you now, I'm bypassing this, and I'm speaking from a completely different place because that's where you actually communicate with individuals. That's how you learn. We've been taught that you learn here first, and then you bring the information in by memorizing it and ingraining it in your memory. But you learn habits 
from being influenced by your surroundings first. Why do children become like their parent? Well, there's not that many words. Children do not learn from words, okay? And neither do adults, but that's the way we've been institutionalized. So this meditation is gonna create a different awareness about you. If you're a very sensitive person, you might wanna get a tissue because it's gonna go deep. And that's the purpose of it. Your influential roles limit you because they don't allow you to see that there are other options available to you. And the only things that will come to you are the only options that that influential role gives you. You will never make time for you. That's the target. So when you are in your life, this meditation will help you understand that you're exactly who you are. Who you are is meaningful. You don't have to be on a stage. You don't have to be seen by people. You can be who you are and you're being your purpose, doing exactly what you spent your life doing. It's not a dream. It's not who, who do I want to be? You are who you are now. And when you acknowledge that within yourself, that you are who you are now, then you start to realize that you are the miracle, that you have created miracles outside of those who you've become very close with or who only know you because those are the only ones you've let in. We have a lot to share. We are all subject matter experts, but you've got to see that within you. No one can tell you that. You have to discover it. I said a lot. I'm gonna attach the meditation to this video and enjoy your experience. And I hope it provides some assistance. Empowerment is key to success. And you have to empower you. You hear the topic, you can lead a horse to water and you can't force him to drink. Well, once the horse drinks the water, it's up to the horse to recognize that it is nourishing, that it's providing for it, that it's the sustenance that it requires. Because there are a lot of people that are drinking that are not even tasting what they're drinking. So that, that concept can be very expensive. Talk to you later. Bye.